Blast to bring it in. Of course, we want a nice clean butt solder, no gaps there. I've seen some excellent platinum solders in here, so for you guys just starting doing this, excellent, excellent job. Same torch settings as we used previously, so eight inches of gas and a five millimeter cone to get that to go ahead and melt and flow. So pretty large flame, uh, pretty small cone. So what's that tell you about that flame again? It's an oxidizing flame. Why can we use that on platinum? Platinum doesn't work sometimes, it's awesome. We have our PGI module 6.2 that we can refer to. You guys have that in your articulate app. You can pull that up and review some additional burnishing techniques. So a lot of added value within those modules for you. We use our 0 .90 round burr. That's the one that we cleaned in the ultrasonic to make a little dimple. And then we'll use our 1.0 twist drill drill nice and straight down through there. And then we're going to open that up just a little bit with our 2.3 round burr to open that drill hole up just a little bit. What if it's too loose in there for us to stage it how we want to without a third hand? Okay. Laser, so are we gonna laser it completely? No, we're just gonna tack it in a little bit. And that's gonna help hold it in place and you want enough room to be able to let your solder still flow down in there. So let's talk about setting our center stone. We've done this before uh, and we've even done it in platinum. So we have some experience with this. So back in GJ33, we experienced it. Anybody recall that experience and how it felt to burr in that platinum? It's a denser metal, it's crabby. Yeah, so it, it has a little more bite to it, a little more grab. And we've talked about some methods where we can go back and reinforce our platinum through some burnishing, giving it some strength back, but it's still a softer, more malleable metal. And so you need to make smart decisions when you set in platinum, making sure that things are thick enough and that you've left enough metal uh, for your final setting process that you're gonna have enough prong contact and enough prong height to keep the stone tight and secure over its lifetime. So we're gonna start with an initial removal of metal of 25%. And you can see this is a great illustration. This is about what everybody's materials should be looking like at this point. And 25% is gonna do just this. You remove 25%, you're gonna hang up just inside that bearing wall. And we also wanna make sure to remove all tool marks before we tack that stone into place. So we've taken off flashing, and then we used our graver, that's created a tool mark. We have Latin Quality Assurance benchmarks. So let's talk about some of those differences between settings, some of the parameters we may work within. So if we click on A, we can see prong contact is 30 to 50%. So pretty similar to what we're shooting for on our pick setting. This last step is pretty important because you can be the best craftsman in the world, but if you don't polish your piece out to completion, that's the first thing the customer is gonna notice. And also in platinum, what have we discovered over the last few days? It takes a lot of time, it's labor intensive, it takes a lot of effort, and so we know we're gonna be spending some time with uh, our abrasives, our rubber wheels, up around these delicate stones, so we have to take even more care because of the longevity we have to work there. 